What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so, yeah, we went through a lot, and now we're finally here. We're going to be going straight into the, uh, yeah, the Rocket Game Corner hideout, because, you know, our good old buddies, Jesse and James, and don't forget Meowth, told us that it was going to be right there. Actually, there's going to be, there, there was a lot of people actually just telling us that, don't go through the Game Corner, don't go to the Game Corner. Yeah, that was pretty much what it is. So, off screen, I did a little bit of training myself. Uh, I completely forgot about this, but yes, I did a little bit of training uh, on some of my Pokemon, like Sandshrew, Smasher got a few levels, Sparky's at level 46, Mew De Uno at level 40, Leonardo still hasn't evolved, don't worry about that, guys. But yes, other Pokemon on my on, in my box have either evolved or got trained a little like uh let's see butkus the second butkus is at level 33 uh ivysaur right here i'm probably gonna just name him dubasaur actually you know what i'm going to name this guy dubasaur in dedication to my best friend who is nicknamed dubasaur so if you're watching this yes this one's for you too <laughs> so let's go right ahead and do that Change the nickname, but this is not. Oh, actually, hold on. Dubasar. My bad. <laughs> Dubasar. I hope I'm spelling that right. I don't know. There we go. Dubasar. Alrighty, so let's press that button right there. So Dubasar, level 26. Then we got Kabutops. because we finally evolved it. And then, uh, oh yeah, off screen. I caught myself another shiny Pokemon. Shiny Firo. Let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right here. Look at that guy. Shiny Firo. So, I cut him off screen. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep him in the box for, you know, safekeeping and all that stuff. So, now, it is time for us to actually go straight to the Rocket uh, Game Corner hideout because there's something afoot. There's something afoot. And, well, let's go ahead and switch out Pokemon right here. Let's go with Leonardo. And, you know what? Let's go ahead and see who... Let's see. You know what? Let's go with Dragonair. Take him out of the box for a little bit, or the po Pokeball. Nope, can't come out right here, so let's see. How about Leonardo? Okay. Yep, it can walk out, so let's go right ahead and start battling some people. You snuck into Team Rocket's operation? What nerve! Okay. Let's go right ahead, and I'm actually flexing my muscles right here because uh, I'm about to kick this guy's ass one way to another and here he comes out with a zoo or a, a gold bat all right leonardo it is finally time for you to find your way to ev evolution so let's go with a bubble beam right here and this guy going with confuse ray this is not cool not cool at all bro come on come on and there we go bubble beam that's right look at that Super fast and it doesn't lower its speed. So let's go right ahead and use Scald. Scald. And here comes a Haze. Good God. Speaking of Haze, uh, yeah, living in California is kind of hard right now because there's a lot of smoke in the area. No thanks to whoever did their, uh, what was it, their gender reveal. Yeah, everything is burning and it's smoky and hazy. I'm annoyed by that right now. So. Yeah, thank you, 2020, for another uh, great time. I don't even know. <laughs> I, I, I'm too I'm too tired to complain about anything. So, let's continue on our adventure right here. Uh, we will be finding some items right here. Hopefully another rare candy. Look at that. We found ourselves five Ultra Balls. That will be to the collection, which, of course, we used up all our Ultra Balls and Great Balls just to level up our Pokemon right here. And, well, there's a female. What's up? Shh. I'm a beautiful spy on an undercover mission. What's a child like you doing here? I'm just here to be a Team Rocket. <laughs> You've got an attitude. I like that. Let me give you some. Let me give you a present so you remember our little encounter here. And she gives us a Team Rocket set. <laughs> just wear that set, and you'll feel as if you're a Team Rocket grunt yourself. Although you're too short to be a real grunt, they'll figure you out when you in your, in your disguise immediately. Well, let's see. Challenge accepted, homegirl. Challenge accepted. Let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, accessories right here. So let's go with the Team Rocket grunts. Everybody, uh, you know what? Let it, uh, let's see. Actually, hold on. 
Let's see what these ones are. Midnight glasses. Look at that. <laughs> That's right, because Pikachu wearing black glasses makes him a villain. Look at that. Okay. So let's switch to me. And let's go with the Team Rocket cap. Alrighty. So we're going to be feeling like a Team Rocket grunt right now, just because. But we're going to be the best one out of everybody. The perfect Team Rocket grunt. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with the shoes. Look at that. Look at that. Swag and everything. Look at that. The swag. Look at that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Wait. Hold on. The shoes. I forgot about the shoes. Hold on. Shoes. Uh, oh. Team Rocket shoes. Okay. Never mind. So there we go. We're swagging in our Team Rocket clothes. Let's see if they can actually figure us out right now. Huh. Never mind. Who are you? How did you get in here? So we're still battling. <laughs> I tried. So here we go. We are challenged by Team Rocket Grunt, and he will be coming out with his coughing. Look at that guy. Coughing. All right, Leonardo. Time to do your thing. That's right. Look at this guy. Let's go with the Scald Attack. Since it looks like it's it's probably our most powerful move right here. So here we go. Scald Attack. Yes, sir. Most powerful attack. Eat it. Look at that. Look at that. And Mew de Uno grows to 41. And he's about to come out with a Rattata. So I'm going to stay put right here. And we're going to be... You know what? Let's go with uh, Brick Break right here. But here comes a Sucker Punch. Brick Break does its thing. Say goodbye to Rattata. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he's about to send another Rattata. So we're going to stay put. Bring it. I'm throwing out the, ch the, the 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 gauntlet. Let's go Brick Break again. And another Sucker Punch. Hits us pretty hard right there, but guess what? Oh, yes. We defeated him. And I feel good about that. We still don't grow a level. Yeah, we defeated you. We're just a kid. And, well, let's see. Blast it! You're dissing Team Rocket, aren't you? Yes, I am. By just beating you guys. And, let's see. We'll grab this item. We found ourselves three mighty candies. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. And we cannot go through this area right here. So let's go right ahead and continue on to the next. Well, hold on. Let's see. Let's continue on to the next area right here. Look at that. War turtle. We're ready for war. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So here's like, I heard that you can see ghosts with a oscilloscope. You can. You really can, so here we go, another Team Rocket Grunt battling the real Team Rocket Grunt. Coming out with a hip now, this guy is coming out with the big guns right here, look at this guy. Alright Leonardo, let's do this. Time to show him what it's all about, we got a bite attack right here, physically hurting this guy, that's right, takes half its HP and here comes that side feet. oh god, that was... That was pretty strong right there, so let's go with another bite attack. Look at that. Say goodbye to Hypno. Fatality. Death by Snoo Snoo. Alrighty, look at that. Level 35. And, well, Sparky's grown to level 47, and Dragonair to level 40, uh, 38. And he's like, I surrender! Now... I think I still have a rare candy, so let's go right ahead and use that. Let's see. Uh, do I have a rare candy? No. Huh. Huh. Well, ain't that a kick in the nuts? I thought I had a rare candy. Never mind. Maybe we're going to have to wait for a little bit. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to wait a little bit. Maybe we're just going to have to train our war turtle just a little bit more. So here we are. Same puzzle as always in the old games. And we're going to find a buttload of uh, items. And let's see. Here we found an awakening. War Turtle is just like wondering, hey man, come on, I need to get through here. I got a big old shell. And hold on, just any. Well, he won't spin out of the way right here. He's not affected by those panels. And well, here we have a nugget, which will, of course, finance our Pokeballs and all that crud. And well, let's go right ahead and move on right here. Let's see, where is... Okay, so we're going to get the items right here, too, because we could potentially find some items that can actually help us, like another rare candy. I don't think a TM... You can actually find TMs here. Never mind. 
corrected. I was corrected right there. Okay, so let's see. Right here. And well, let's go right here. So let's see. Um Alright, so let's go straight up here first because there, there's an item on the other side right here. And well, let's just not get dizzy like my war turtle is. Well, my war turtle is not that dizzy right now. So let's go ahead and grab this item. Here we have a PP up. And well, let's move on to the next spot right here. And bam. Look at that. We're we're just spinning out of control. No problem whatsoever. And me, I'm just I'm just trying not to screw up right here course this is not the final floor to the area right here uh, we still got a few well another room to go to and well let's go to the top spot right here and this one will actually take us to this spot right here uh, now as you can see there is an elevator but we can't go through it because unfortunately we don't have a key so can't go there yet and well let's see Who's next? That's what Goldberg said. Bring it. Let's see. What hope you to achieve to by coming here? Well, I don't know, bro. I'm just here to destroy every single one of you guys. So let's go right ahead and battle another Team Rocket Grunt. And well, let's see. Alrighty, so here we go. Another. Uh, oh wow taking on a Voltorb right here, but at this level, it might know an electric attack. Not going to deal with that, so let's go ahead and switch out to Smasher right here. Oh yes, Thrasher and Smasher will eventually battle once again, together. And here comes a Thundershock. Told you it was going to happen, so let's go ahead and use Body Slam. Now, I'm probably going to give a Smasher a ground-type move because, hey, got to take care of that ground-type capability, right? Right? Yeah. And <laughs> he's like, this won't do. Okay, so let's see. Speaking of which, let's heal our Pokemon and let's go right ahead and teach another move to another Pokemon right here. So here's a Super Potion to Leonardo. And, well, let's see. Where's... Okay, TM case right here. That's the wrong one. I do have quite a few. As many of you guys already know, Mew can learn any move. Uh, it can learn Mega Drain, which I probably will teach at some some point in time. Uh, Thunderbolt, let's see, Brick Break, Dig. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with Dig onto uh, Smasher right here, just for the time being. Eventually, I'll learn Earthquake, and I won't need it anymore. So, let's see. Poison Sting, it doesn't... It's not that good of a move just yet. It took care of a few fairies, but not all of them, so... We're just going to learn Dig for right now, and that's pretty much it right there, guys. So let's move on. Grabbing this item. And we found ourselves our first Hyper Potion. And let's go ahead and battle some more Pokemon Trainers right here. Look at that. Grabbing five Great Balls, which is also great. And let's take on this female. Intruder Alert! Alrighty. Let's go. Well... As many of you guys already know, I'm just going to talk while I'm battling these guys. As many of you guys already know, I am actually uploading one episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu every single day because, well, I may or may have not gone overboard on recording it. Since it is easy to actually play and just get through, I might as well. It's an everyday thing. It used to be, like, um, the initial plan was to do, like, two or three episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. But I kind of figured that, you know what, since I will be I will be doing this every single day, like every single day, since, I, I, since this game is easy, it, it's best to just, you know, get it out every single day, including the weekends. That way you guys are still entertained, especially during this whole pandemic, and yeah, for those in California, through these forest fires and all that stuff. So here we have Sandshrew, level 35. Now I've, t I've taught it some physical moves. One thing I've learned about this Sandshrew is that it's very, 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 very physical. So, yeah, I'm going to make it the, 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 the physical Pokemon attacker right here. And it kind of reminds me of... Who does it remind me of? Drillmonger from Pokemon Black. And look at that. Nearly takes out Sa uh, Arbok right here. 
So, let's go right ahead and use Ice Punch for the win, and I don't know why Hayes is doing that, so here we go. Bam! Arbok has been defeated. Yes. Sandshrew, a very dang good addition, and Smasher grows to level 39, and this Team Rocket's like, it can't do. That's right. Alrighty, okay, so... Yeah, like I was saying, guys, this is an everyday thing, and I'm pretty dang sure that we're going to be done with this game in no time. Hell, I might even do uh, two episodes at a time uh, uh, when I get, well, two episodes at a time sometime soon. As many of you guys already know, there was, I think, a few days ago, as I'm recording this whole thing, that I uploaded two episodes in one day, and that was probably because of the whole Mew uh, episode. I wasn't going to leave you guys hanging with a four-minute episode of Mew, how to get Mew, and all that stuff. So, yeah, two two episode, two-part episode or something like that. And here we are in the bottom floor right here. And we're going to be encountering some more Team Rocket members. Look who finally showed up, huh? We got word from upstairs that you were coming. Alrighty. So I'm popular. You really like me. Okay, so here we go. Team Rocket Grunt, the female, she's looking all good and all that stuff. And of course, my friend, Dubasaur, is online. So, hey, Dubasaur, how you doing? If you're watching this walkthrough, you were just online. And let's go right ahead and just skull this gold bat right here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Skulled. Burned this, go this bitch to the ground. And, yeah, you got burned. Okay. That's right. Okay, so now we're at an advantage right here. Let's go with the bubble beam. Let's go with the bubble. You see, you could have used haze at the beginning, but who would have known? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Golbat has been defeated. Look at that. And this Team Rocket Grunt has been defeated as well. They look so yummy. Like, they're, they look so damn pretty. I like bad girls. I don't know. But the elevator won't budge without a lift key. I don't know. I've been to a Comic Con and then I've been to a Fanime Con, guys. And the girls who wear the Team Rocket Grunt uh, costume, yummy. Very, very yummy. Comment down below if you guys agree. Now, here we have TM20 Dark Pulse, a very good dark type move. And you know what? Let's go ahead and see who can actually learn this. Of course, Mew is going to be the one that knows how to learn this. So hold on just a sec. Actually, where the hell am I going? Okay, so here we go. Dark Pulse, and... Yep, of course, Mew is the only one that can learn it. So let's see what moves I can take away right here. Huh. Okay, let's take away Swift for the time being. Just for a little coverage right there once it faces a Ghost-type Pokemon. Of course, I have yet to use Mew in any battle. I'm saving this little bastard for, you know, a special battle here and there and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and grab this item. And we found ourselves a revive, which is good. And well, let's go right here. I am getting a text message. Why do you guys text message me while I'm recording? I do not know. So let's go spin around. Look at that. We're finding items left and right. Look at that. Literally left and right. And. Here we found an X speed, but but what I'm trying to find is a uh, a rare candy. But at this point, I don't really need a rare candy because you know War Turtle's about to evolve. And look at that, found a rare candy. <laughs> let's see. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at War Turtle right now, or Leo Leonardo. So let's see. Uh, okay, and well, it needs 2,311 points to actually level up. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I need to, you know, yeah, I don't think I need to use the rare candy. I'm probably just going to save it for next time for for whoever needs it. I mean, that was it, that was my initial plan to use a rare candy to evolve them right away, but since I didn't have one and I continued battling, why waste a rare candy, you know? All right, so let's go right here, and we're going to be going straight to the bottom. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And is there another team? Yes, there is a Team Rocket member right there. Let's get these experience points. What's up? Stop meddling in Team Rocket's affairs, or else. Or else what, bruh? <laughs> I'm just looking at the memes, like me and my childhood and all that crud, and 
me acting out and not giving a fuck, that kind of stuff. The Bane, the Bane meme. So here we go. Taking on another Team Rocket member. Let's go with the Brick Break right here. Say the Brick Break. Brick Break right there. Look at that. Surf attack. Or no, not Surf, but Brick Break wins this whole thing. And, well, let's see. Coming out with the Voltorb. We're going to be switching out our Pokemon right here. Let's go straight to Sparky. Or no, not Sparky, but uh, Smasher. And Smasher is looking uh, pretty great right here. Look at this guy. Or this chick right here. So, here we go, Smasher, ready to take some uh, damage, but guess what, Dig Attack will prevent that. Okay, alrighty. And I like the way how Pikachu looks in his Team Rocket suit, like, he looks, he looks like a true bad guy, especially with the sunglasses, like, yeah, that's right, Gangsta, 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 that's right, my Gangsta Pikachu. So, let's see, looking for a Cubone, hey? I saw one for, uh, uh, off our grunt. Come by with buy one with one. Um, it's got to be around here somewhere. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Now it's time to go downstairs and see where we're going. Alrighty, so here we are in an area where there's a few items. Here we have a PP up, a nice item to actually use on your Pokemon or sell, and a hyper potion. And, well, it looks like we're going to be looking for another Team Rocket member right here. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and take this guy on. <laughs> What's that? You say the elevator doesn't work? Of course not. I've been keeping the lift key safe this whole time. Well, at least this guy admits that he has it. Jeez. Okay, so here we have the uh, lift key master grunt. Coming out with his gr Grimer, and I'm gonna definitely come out with my good old buddy Leonardo right here. And well, let's go with the Scald attack. So I had Raphael, I had I think Donatello right, and Leonardo. So who am I mi missing? Michelangelo. Yeah, there is one more Pokemon that I need to complete the set of uh, you know Ninja Turtles right here. And if you guys have any suggestions on which Pokemon I should use as the next Ninja Turtle, comment down below. Yeah, let me know if there's a Pokemon in Alola that I need to use for, you know, the Ninja Turtles or in Galar. Comment down below and I will make that happen. I really will. And then eventually we'll have all of these Pokemon battling in the Elite Four or somewhere. I don't know, somewhere along the line. I am keeping track of all my Pokemon that, you know, I use for you know such events and stuff now if you defeat this guy right here he's gonna be like god now how am i supposed to keep you from taking the lift key guess i'll have to use my own kind of struggle the hell is this guy doing this asshole what the okay really really bro i hope my bosses don't hear about this really wow now that's petty right there Without a key, there's no way you can make it to the boss. If you think you can get it back from up there, then I'd be sure to see you try. Plot twist. Take a look at this. Watch this, bro. Watch this. If there was a, a step stool or something, maybe it would be possible to reach the top from here. Dot, dot, dot. Look around to see if you can find something to climb up on. And yes, there is. A chair could probably be used as a step. Yes, it is. And look at this. All right, we're stepping on this thing. Here you go up. Pikachu. That's right. <laughs> Plot twist, homeboy. I got a Pikachu with some sunglasses. Now the time for you or for your partner to shine. Get the key from Team Rocket Grunt through. All right, look at that. And you control Pikachu. He's like, what's up, bro? What's up? Can I use Thunderbolt? Hold on. Okay, so, hold on just a sec, hold on just a sec. Okay, so we're moving this Pikachu right here, look at that, kick this thing, bam, kick it. That's right, like a pimp, let's go Sparky, that's right, look at that, you see that? That's right, plot twist, I can go through these pipes. Look at that, look at that, <laughs> gangsta gangsta Pikachu. Going straight for the Pokeball. Hey, where's that guy? Where is he? So I can flip him off with Pikachu. 
Oh, he's gone. Grab that thing, and here it is. We got the we got the lift key. <laughs> Look at that team rocket. It's like, did you hear something just now? I did. There was a def there was definitely a noise. Could it be an intruder? B. Grr. Never mind. It must have been Meow's hungry tummy. Don't get me all worried over nothing. Wow, you guys are really something. See, get yourself a Pikachu like I do, guys. That's right. We got ourselves a lift key. I definitely like this part right here. Where is that Team Rocket member? Ah, you, you couldn't give me this one, Nintendo. I would have flipped off, flipped off the guy. You couldn't have given it to me. So let's move back to the top floor right here. Just so we can actually uh, get on with our lives and uh, do our thing right here. So let's see. Where can you be? Where can you be, Kids WB? I am rhyming like nobody else. Okay, so we're going to have to spin back right here. Look at that. Now, I'm hoping that I can evolve my uh, my War Turtle right here. If not, then, well, it'll probably be in, uh, in the Pokemon Tower in Lavender Town. So let's go right here. And let's go right... Ah, crap baskets! Okay, I thought I got it wrong, so... Here we go. No wasted time. Look at that. Get it, son. Look at that. Getting dizzy. You know what? After 20 years of doing this, we are, we're pretty much immune from spinning and all that stuff. So, here we are going into the elevator. Yeah, buddy. Let's go to the first floor because there might be an entrance right there that we need to take care of. As you can see, we were in the other side of this whole section. Now we just have to beat this guy in order for this whole thing to, uh, to open. Are you lost, little child? Maybe. Not really. Okay, so here we are taking on Team Rocket Grunt, and well, he will be coming out with a Zubat. Hey, bring it on, Zubat. Here comes Leonardo. Okay, alrighty. You can do this. Scald attack. We're gonna scald this guy pretty good. Look at that. There we go. Zubat has been defeated. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And well, he's gonna be coming out with a ghastly. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Hmm. You know what? I haven't used Dragonair in quite some time. Let's go ahead and use him. Alright, Leonardo. You're still gonna get experience points, it's just not that much. So here comes a Dragonair, and here comes the Ghastly. Look at this Pokemon. Looking all mean and everything, but guess what? I got Thunderbolts. Yeah, buddy, look at this. Oh, yes. Ghastly had no chance. I got some pretty good Pokemon. Pretty nice teams with some pretty big rings. That's right. And it's learning Blizzard. Holy crap. Okay, so let's see. Blizzard is a... Really, it's a physical attack? No, it's a special attack. Now, let's see. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep Ice Punch right here because it's a special attack. It's not really going to do anything. It's not going to do a lot for uh, Alolan Sanchu right here. Since I already have a physical ice attack, might as well do that. Uh-oh. The rook has somehow opened the door! It did, didn't it? All right. Time to take care of business. Let's go to the fourth floor right here. Alrighty, so who's next? Says Goldberg, and we found an item right there. Grab that thing, and we found ourselves an elixir, which is good. And let's go right ahead. That's right. Let's see. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to need my partner for this one right here, so I'm going to shake it off. There we go. Team Rocket Lady right there. Now, let's go right ahead and... Let's see. You know what? Let's go with the dynamic duo of Sandshrew and Leonardo right here. So let's go right ahead. Double team. You! You're the trooper from Mount Moon! Just how long are you going to follow us around? I know I'm beautiful, but what, what do you want? Uh... To join Team Rocket? Not really. To rescue Cubone. What? That Cubone? <laughs> we, already gave it, we already gave the poor thing to the boss. 
It doesn't matter. There's no way you were letting you go through to see the boss. It's payback time for those fossils from Team Mount Moon, you brat. Alrighty, here we go. It's not a double battle, but still, we, we're gonna get some advantage right here, I guess. Wait, it's not a double battle. What the hell? Look at that. Where's my partner? Oh, uh, oh, it is a double battle, but huh? It's a one-player game. <laughs> Never mind. So here we go. Weezing and Arbok and Leonardo right here can actually use Dig onto uh, Arbok right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, well get hit by that. So here we go. The skull attack. Look at that. Get burnt. Let's let's dig. Let's dig. Well, it looks like we don't need the second player. So. <laughs> I'm gonna put that thing back into the controller right there. And, well, let's go right ahead and use one more Scald Attack onto Weezing. Sandshrew's got the rest against Arbok right here. And that Glare Attack, good golly. Working on my Leonardo. So, let's go. Scald Attack, not so effective, but it gets burned, which is good. And, bam, Dig Attack does its thing. Oh, damn. Sludge attack. Come on! Get burnt. That's right. Okay, so let's go right again. Let's finish this guy off with another Scald attack. Let's do something very awesome. Let's go with this Ice Beam or Ice ice Punch right here. And, wow, Crunch attack. Not so effective, but here's the Ice Punch. Bam! For the win! Suck it, Arbok! That's right. Look at that. Look at that. All right, come with the sludge attack. It's only going to be hitting my Leonardo since, you know, uh, I believe, I, be, I believe Sandshrew is a uh, well doesn't get affected by poison attacks. I'm pretty sure, damn sure. Look at that, look at that, and look at that. It defeated Jesse and J James. Such a dreadful trip. But I was so confident this time. That's right. We earned a lot of money for this one right here. <laughs> How infuriating. Don't let it go to your head just because uh, just because your Pokemon were a teeny tiny bit stronger. Exactly! And even if you did defeat us in battle, we're still bigger and stronger than you. We'll just have to... We'll just use Brute Force to... Hold on! Pika! Eek! Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again! It's the glasses, guys. Trust me. It's the glasses. Okay, so we don't need our... We don't need our lady right here, so I'm gonna have to stop this. So, return to me, and we don't need that anymore. Okay, so Pikachu wants to talk. Looks completely exasperated. Huh. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, tired. Uh, there we go. There we go, Pikachu. There you go, boy. Come on. You scared those Team Rocket members because of your glasses. Which is good. Very, very good. Okay, so, let's go right ahead and heal our Pokemon right now. Um, let's see. This is all about Leonardo, so let's go ahead and give it a full heal. And let's go with a Super Potion. That will work right here. Look at that. Okay, so everything... Actually, hold on. One more thing. One more thing from Uncle from Jackie Chan Adventures. Let's go ahead and heal up our Sandshrew as well. We might need this Pokemon as much as like I kind of don't want to use him right here so let's go right ahead and face our challenge huh just one look at this cell silk scope and it's plain to see Silco definitely has the technology and the skill team rocket will need to uh, to make our wishes come true <laughs> a machine that lets you see what otherwise cannot be seen it's nothing but a useless toy still yes this could do Carry on, Archer, with your plans to take over Silph Co. for Team Rocket. Yes, sir! Huh. What is a child doing here? You listen in on our conversation without saying a word. I don't care, my, uh, don't care for that. I am Archer, an, ar an admin of Team Rocket. And I do not go easy on, uh, even on children. Okay. Bring it, Archer. Time for you to wake up and see Lana from Archer, you know, the, the, the cartoon. And, good God, he comes out with a wheezing. 
You know, this could be a good time to actually use Mew, but... Yeah, not going to happen right now. So let's go with a bubbly beam. Bubbly beam, here we go. Bubbly beam. Look at that, it takes care of that. And here comes a sludge bomb, which, oh god. Poisons us, good god. Alright, so you can play that game. And, well, let's go right ahead and use that skull attack right here. Come on, burn this guy to the ground. And, no. And another sludge bomb hits us, and, jeez. Okay, so we're hurt. We're not going to back away right here. We're going to go with a Scald and defeat this guy. Bam! Suck it, Weezing. Alrighty, okay. Alrighty, and it almost grows a level. Good God! And, well, just because of that. Ah! Okay. Let's go with Sparky. It must be the cap. All right, Pikachu, let's do our thing right here. And he's coming out with a Golbat. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Thunder. Third down, Thunder. Look at this. Thunder destroys this guy. Yes, this Pikachu gives no you-know-what. Say goodbye to Golbat. And that could have been, you know, War Turtle evolving, but guess what? It is what it is. Okay. Forgive me, Giovanni, for me to be defeated by a simple child. Oh, damn. Look at this guy. Alright, so first is first. We've got to revive our Pokemon. This could be it. Let's go. Oh, crap. Wrong one. Revive our Pokemon because that's the cool thing to do. And another Super Potion right here. There we go. Okay, so now let's take care of business right here. What's up? So, you defeated Archer. I must say, I'm impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. I am the leader of this enterprise, Giovanni. Oh, damn. He doesn't seem to like him. What? You want me to release the Cubone? Mama! <laughs> you came barging into our hideout just for that? What an amusing child. But, for your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. Alrighty, bring it. So here it is, guys, our very first battle against Team Rocket's boss, Giovanni. And he's looking like a pimp right here. Look at this guy. Look at a big ol'. He's wearing the, he's rocking the suit. He's got the hair doing all that stuff. This guy looks like he means business. So let's go. Let's do this. Destroy. Brick break. But here comes a slash attack. And good God. Oh my God. Okay, so it's a battle to the death right here. Go with brick break. Slash attack. Nearly takes us out. There we go. Suck on those lemons, Persian. Suck on those lemons. And look at that, Leonardo finally reaches to level 36 right there. Look at that. And look at that. So he's about to come out with the Rhyhorn. I'm staying put. Let's do this. Bring it, Rhyhorn. That's right. Let's get this. Let's finish this guy off with the Skull Attack. Bam! And no chance whatsoever. This guy is done. Oh my god, I, I would have been expecting just a little bit more, but Giovanni, he's like, what? This can't be! That's right. Digivolution activated. So, after a long time coming, guys, I finally got a Blastoise, a pretty cool Pokemon. One of my other favorite Pokemon that I can actually get here. Kind of didn't use him in Pokemon Yellow. Didn't want to use him in Leaf Green. But this guy right here is appropriate for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Look at this guy. He's looking like a pimp. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, Blastoise has been added. Look at this guy. Blastoise, the shellfish Pokemon. 5 feet, 3 inches. 188 pounds. Now, I would think this guy would be a little bit bigger. I really, I really thought it would. Well, as you can see... 
Once it takes aim at its enemy, it blasts out water even more forced than the fire, fire hose. Really? You don't say. So I am too defeated by a child. Do as you wish with that Q-bone. Ma! And take this as my apology for mocking you as a child. You see, now this guy, he's a little classy just because, you know, hey, he apologized. I see you can raise your po I see you raise your Pokemon with utmost care. But you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. Oh damn. But I hope we meet we will meet uh, in battle again. Oh damn. This Cubone is in love with this. Alright, buddy, time to go. Cubone headed back to Lavender Town. Maybe with Silphscope you'll be able to find out the identity of that ghost. Probably. Probably. Okay, so yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. We defeated everybody in here, and now it is finally time for us to go back to Lavender Town and take care of that little situation over at uh, the Pokemon Tower. It's going to be scary as hell, but you know what? We got some pretty good Pokemon. We got a nice team go forming right here, and I'm pretty sure we can, we can pretty much manage it. We can manage it, guys. Don't worry. We got this. We got this, guys. Okay, so Jesse and James is gone, and I am I am informed by Pikachu right here that there is an item nearby. Nope. Where is it? Right here. Where is it? Come on. Come on. There it is. We found ourselves another raspberry. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I think you can get items in here, like free items every single day. Kind of like in the... Yeah, you can get items in here every single day. If not, then just correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Just correct me, you know. This is like the second go-around, and look at that. We found ourselves a Nana Berry, so that's extra berries that we need right there. So now it is time for us to just get the F out of here and continue with our adventure and all that crud. Okay, so let's see. Oh, damn! So after you defeat Team Rocket, this guy will appear right in front of the uh, the game corner. Now, if you talk to him, he's going to be like, Oh, you're curious, aren't you? You're curious about me in this machine. Do you want to know about the details? Sure, let's go ahead. Okay, if you insist, this machine is a great vehicle that allows you to fly in the sky. It's a marvelous invention, if I do say so myself. It's not an exaggeration to say to say that this is a secret technique. Even though I worked really hard on this, nobody wants to try it. You seem to be courageous young boy. I'll tell you how to ride this machine, the, the secret uh, technique, Skydash. And of course, Pikachu's gonna be like, hey, 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 hold on, hold on. See the glasses right here? I'm the only one that knows that's supposed to learn this technique. Oh, that Pikachu wants to, uh, wants to fly my, with my invention instead of you. Great, it matches my inspiration perfectly. All right, let's get right to it. Do this and that, hold this handle and pull. Then that will be like that. And with these balloons, you're in the air. Look at this, Pikachu. We learned Sky Dash. This is the equivalent of fly right here, guys. Use the uh, sky technique, to, or use the secret technique Sky Dash, and you can fly it to a town you've been to. Select play with Sparky in the main menu, then select Secret Techniques. Look at that. You can have this machine, so be sure to enjoy many trips through the sky. Alrighty, okay. Look at that. Hey, look at Blastoise right here. Look at this guy. Oh, what's up, buddy? Oh, it's tired. Okay, so Leonardo is tired. Do not worry, buddy. We're going to be going straight to the Pokemon Center. You deserve it. You've had a rough go at it. So... In the next episode, guys, we're going back to Lavender Town. We're going to be using that Sky Dash technique. And we're going to take care of a little business right there, you know. And then continue on with our adventure. See how far I go and all that stuff. So thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys next time.